is, for my money, Mike, the most well-rounded fighter in this division, a true mixed martial artist at his core, and he believes he'll have a lot of advantages in this matchup. Team. Everyone talked about him being well-rounded. It's unbelievable to watch a guy that can do everything across the board at such a high level. Yeah, he's comfortable wherever the fight goes. Maybe he'll grapple tonight, maybe he'll strike. Makes him a hard guy to prepare for. Time out in the UFC, DC. This man has put on a striking clinic, and that is his methodology coming in here tonight. He'll try to keep the fight on the field. And that's why we tune in, right? That's why we tune in. We tune in to see guys that are dynamic. We tune in for the speed. We tune in for the knowledge of the striking game, the ability to set traps, the ability to find the jab, the ability to find the right hand, the right kick, the left kick, the knees, the elbows. He truly uses every weapon that he has in his arsenal to try and finish his opponent. You make one mistake, night's over. You cannot make mistakes against a guy that has the striking acumen yep. of this guy right here. And the jab is not as underutilized a weapon as it was in MMA, say, five or seven years ago, but he's got as good a jab as anyone in the business, and that is where all of his striking flows off of. We'll see how it goes for him in this matchup tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, a referee in charge of the octagon, Eve Loving. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold-out T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC welterweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding professional record of 25 wins, 19 losses. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Fighting out of Denver, Colorado, Matt. The Immortal Brown! And now we're producing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a boxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet six inches tall, weighing in at 169 pounds. Fighting out of Lafayette, Louisiana, Boom Boom! Okay, guys, protect yourself at all time. Obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now. Go back to your corner. You ready? You ready? All right, let's get this one started here. Round one is underway. We've got a striker who is a force to be reckoned with. Tonight, though, he draws a guy who can do a little bit better. And that guy is usually the one that will have the advantage. But we know what a high-level striker is, and this guy is as high-level as we've ever seen in the UFC. Oh, nice connection with that punch. It's one thing to have an edge in reach. It's another to take advantage. Nicely done. Big punch lands over the top. I was gonna follow this one. Got the single collar tie. Way to hide that leg kick. Combination lands for him. It was hard to see a miss in that sequence. He's put it all together. I mean, everything is just flowing. He's like in a zone. It's like the basketball hoop becomes twice its size. This guy today is looking at both the fence and his opponent. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. Just over three minutes to go. Big call from Punch Lance. Now he gets back to range. Right hand punch from the clinch. And they separate. Oh, 
over and over, he's landing these big body kicks. Brown gets tattooed by that straight punch. Oh, that was a big takedown. Is this the one that's going to break him? Nice guillotine to tip here. Like he's countering here with maybe a bond flu. He's got the side mount, and now all of a sudden his opponent's in trouble. May want to bail on that guillotine sooner rather than later. He got it. He got it, John. Oh, he got it done. Absolutely. He finishes his opponent by way of submission. He gets it done by submission tonight, champ. I mean, you know this guy has such a great submission game that you cannot lay in his guard. He's so skilled, he's so tricky, and he's so good at weaving a web that gets you lost in it that he made him pay for it tonight and got the submission victory. So a seminal moment for this fighter here tonight as he gets the win by submission. Huge victory in his career, and it'll be very interesting to see how they matchmake him moving forward. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve LeBing has called a stop to this contest at 3 minutes, 46 seconds of the very first round. For the winner by submission, Hoo -hoo! Well, the celebration is on in his